Hey everybody, it's AJ, software engineer, how to get six figures and all that. Now this wasn't the video that I was gonna do tonight, but I got a really important question. I finished Python the hard way. Now what? This is a question that I get a lot actually, and it deserves an answer. I've got three good responses for you. The great thing about Python the hard way is that it's muscle memory. It's what we might also call a kata. In programming, it's actually fairly common as an exercise to train your brain to go do something a second time. Run through the book using as little reference material as you can, trying to remember, trying to think through it. Go do the exercises a second time. That's number one. Number two, you're gonna get on your computer, you're gonna open up a terminal, type Python or Python 3 as it may be, and then type import this. Read that carefully and decide if that's the type of person that you are. So this is called the Zen of Python, and it is a poem that describes the Python mentality and philosophy. Figure out if you actually align with the values of Python, if these are things that you believe in. If they are, then the next language that I'd like you to try the book with is Go. Yes, it's already time for you to start learning on your own and to make sure that you can apply the same principles that you've just learned to another language because that is how you're going to grow your value. Third thing, we need to talk about this. This is where you put your goals. Maybe you've got a whiteboard, maybe you've got a journal, but you need a place to write down goals. So there's a couple of different things that you need to be writing down. First, on the top of a piece of paper, Write the word goal and tell yourself and the rest of the world, why is it that you're making this change in your lifestyle? Is it to be more creative, to have a better income, to get a particular type of job? Let's say that my goal is I want to make $100,000. That's a really sucky goal. We need to distill that down. I'm going to quote Zig Ziglar here. You can have everything in life that you want if you will just help other people get what they want. The way that you're going to get a $100,000 salary is by helping someone else. You need to think about mashing talents that you have together at this point. Are you interested in music? Are you interested in cooking? Are you interested in data science? Are you interested in what are you interested in? Now rephrase this goal. Ideally, I would like to make $100,000 a year by helping others through my programming skills and one of these talents and list out two or three talents and they can be anything. They don't need to be programming related. You just need to get the juices flowing. So now that you've got that goal, you need to start looking at jobs. You are already a programmer. You already know more than most people know. So no, you're not going to go work at Google or Microsoft, but there may be a job in your area where they just need somebody to kind of code monkey together a database or something you now have the skills that you can learn that. You are now an expert because an expert is just someone who is 10 times better at a thing than the person they're standing next to that wants to get it done. You are an expert in Python relative to the types of people who are willing and ready to employ you. Not only that, if you've learned a second language, you are an expert programmer in relation to the person who wants to hire you. Now, you might not find that job overnight and in the area where you live, there might not be a qualified business that's ready to hire you. So what do you do? You need to join a community. That's part of the reason that I asked you to import this and read the Zen of Python. You need to find a community that has values that jive with you. I'm also providing some links to the Taoisms of other languages so you can read through those and see if it jives with you. But the next thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna get on Stack Overflow and you are going to subscribe to questions in two languages. The first one is gonna be Python and the second one is gonna be something else that has caught your interest during this time. So you're gonna come here, you're going to search for Python questions, you're going to find the Python tag and then you're going to click watch tag. What this is gonna do is subscribe you to getting about 100 million emails from people who are asking questions about Python. And you're gonna sift through them and you're gonna figure out which ones you can answer. You're gonna reach a little bit beyond what you already know. You're gonna do the Googling, you're going to do the work and you're gonna solve somebody else's problem. In addition to that, you can start right away by clicking the unanswered button. Now, most of this stuff is going to be well beyond you. Go through and start reading through some of it anyway. Learn vocabulary. If you scroll through and it seems too overwhelming, add another search term to narrow it down for you. Say Python and file read. Learn about the ways that people phrase their questions and their answers. You are going to become an expert. 
Now, if not Python, then pick something else. Elixir, Clojure, Go, Rust. Some of those are going to be miles beyond your reach, but right now it's like exercising. You just wanna do something that hurts you so it feels a little bad the second day and really bad the third day, but by the fourth day, you're stronger. I promise you, as you expand what you're thinking and reasoning about, your brain is going to adapt and adjust. It's plastic. It's going to get better at thinking through these problems. While you are sleeping, you are going to be problem solving. Now, as you're doing this research, go back to your goal sheet and update and modify it. Maybe some of your talents aren't so well equipped, or maybe you remember another talent that is, but you need to find a way that you're gonna get what you want by giving other people what they want with your skills that you're developing. I hope that you found this helpful. If so, please like and subscribe. Adios.